Howdy everyone, I'm the Shadow of the Hawk and welcome back to my channel, as you can tell by the video. Uh, this is going to be talking about a Bretonia update for Total War Warhammer 3, what I think could be a cool way to spice up the faction with an eventual update for them. Uh, one thing I will say is, uh, this isn't going to be a edited video, this isn't going to be a great video because I'm just making this so my channel has something. I've been uh, trying, as you can tell, uh, I need to like work on setting things up in this space so that it's uh, got a decent background. I've got um, to set up the lighting so that I don't look like shit. Well, more like shit than normal. Um, and also just balancing, finding a job, working out, school, not school, uh, finding a job, working out, the job I'm already working, etc, etc. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks I will be able to start pumping out videos with whatever free time I have. I've got a script almost done for a Goblins video, but enough of that. This is for Bretonia talking about Warhammer. So if you don't know anything about Warhammer, Warhammer is a epic fantasy universe that is centered around creating epic battles so that the company Games Workshop can sell you plastic toys. Now, if I had one on my desk right now, I'd show you, but I don't have one on my desk right now, so I will not show you. Warhammer Fantasy was the first universe they created, and at its inception, it was basically just Lord of the Rings, but edgy. Due to copyright infringement, they had to change it, and then eventually it became the Warhammer fantasy world that everyone knows and loves today. That got taken out so they could make Age of Sigmar, which a lot of people don't like as much. I, It's fine. The lore is fine, in my opinion. Some of the characters are fine, in my opinion. Um, but so, Bretonia. Who is Bretonia? Bretonia is a bastard amalgamation of the French and the British. Basically, imagine if the Brits won... Uh, the Hundred Years' War, and that sort of cultural diffusion happened. It is very much, like, on the ground, very French, in the fact that instead of having really good longbows, it's all really, really good knights. It's, um, they, they have French names. They probably speak French geographically. They're France, like, you know, the western coastline of quote-unquote Europe. Um, but they're very inspired by Arthurian mythology. Arthurian mythology? Arthurian legend. And just have that general Arthurian theme to them, despite everything else about them being French. Even the fact that some of them eat snails. Though that's mostly due to poverty. So, in Warhammer, they, uh, Warhammer Total War, they're represented with a free-to-play faction that is fine, but it's not quite to what the faction in verse is. Now, I've never read any of the Bretonia army books. I've only ever read the uh, two novels which involve Britonia, Undeath Ascendant, and um, Knights of Britonia. So my opinions on Britonia are going to be coming from those two books. The biggest thing that I think should be done with Britonia is you don't just build knights. You can't like you don't just spend a thousand gold and I now have a force of knights. That's not how the knights work. A knight equips himself based on his immediate lord or his father or whatever he does, and he chooses to join your army. Now, you might need to pay for his upkeep, but you shouldn't be having to hire a knight because they're not soldiers. They're nobles that happen to flock to your banner. In Knights of Bretonia, when there is a massive beastman uprising in um, uh, Akutain? Akutain or um, Bordelot. I can't remember which one. Uh, one of those two. Uh, the local lord doesn't send out um, people with bags of money going, Hear ye, hear ye! Round up the knights! Round up the... No, 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 the knights are told, hey, there's a fight, and they go. Now, having to pay to equip your basic men-at-arms and your basic uh, peasant soldiers, that makes sense. You're raising up an army. That makes a lot more sense than having, your, having to pay for your knights. So what I think would be an interesting mechanic is something very similar to what the dwarves have right now, where they're book of grudges, but make it a um, errantry war or a stability of Bretonia, where the more stable Bretonia is, as in you have fewer wars, you have most of your territory held, uh, certain research that you can do, certain edicts you can unlock, you get economic bonuses. Um, things are built faster, for cheaper, you can have more peasants in the field, you have... Uh, more peasants in your armies, etc., etc. And then as you have more wars, as you're losing more territory, um, it you start suffering like public order and growth issues and buildings cost more because your economy is disrupted as you are at war, but you start getting more knights in a pool. And this would be very much sort of like the chaos, the warriors of chaos or the um, uh, slayer mechanic for the dwarves, where that pool is going to just have a baseline of some basic units, specifically Knights Arant and Knights of the Realm, um, which the difference between those two, Knights Arant are like uh, 
Uh, Doughboys, they're like the new guy on the block going out to prove themselves, whereas Knights of the Realm have seen a couple of campaigns, they know how to fight. So you basically just have like, whenever shit is getting bad, just a ton of Knights of the Realm being rounded up and thrown at the enemy with Knights of the Realm basically being scraped together to hold the line. And as things get worse, you would attract the attention of questing Knights or, um, or more elite knights like uh, Pegasus Knights or uh, Royal Hippogriff Riders, those sorts of things. Maybe a few custom units to represent the different um, groups within Bretonia. Like um, uh, Baston is known for their beast hunters. Maybe you have like a specific group of knights that are known, that are specialized in bringing down beasts. Or you have um, sort of like a, a marine force uh, that are... Um, Maybe more medium infantry, but have a lot more anti-infantry capabilities coming out of Baudelaire or Leonès as they are coastal regions. And then maybe um, for Carcassonne, which is more to the south, maybe they've imported some bulls from Talea, and you've got bull riders instead of horse riders. It's like a custom unit you can get from those as things get bad and as you align with different baronies within Bretonia, or not baronies, excuse me, with different dukedoms in Bretonia, just rallying all these forces together as things get worse. Now, a big change that I think should be done, and I hope other people agree with me specifically on this, is the way Grail Knights are represented in the game is horribly flawed. Having read Knights of Bretonia, a Grail Knight is the equivalent of a legendary... A random Grail Knight is the equivalent of a legendary lord or a legendary character. They are not something you could just mass in a unit of 30 or 40. They are individually war-changing individuals and should be characters. They should be something akin to... um. Uh, to the, like, Ice Court, uh, where, like, you, um, there, you, not, actually, no, not the Ice Court, more like Queen Bess for the Vampire Counts, where you can spend resources, you can spend chivalry, you can spend money, whatever, and you can unlock a Grail Knight. They would be a legendary character. Actually, no, a better thing would probably be something like the Sylvanian system, where you spend, uh, chivalry, and as you can tell, this is just me spitballing to get a quick video out. You spend chivalry, and you get certain buffs if you follow down, like, different chivalric oaths. And as you go down those oaths, you get different Grail Knights that have their own unique skill trees, that have semi-unique models. And because, a, like, Grail Knights are legendary heroes. They're not quite the Primarchs of Warhammer 40k, but they come pretty close. These are your, like, these are living saints of the, la of the Lady. That's my French, attempt at French. Um, with this DLC, I would also love to see, um, uh, of course, a legendary lord. Claude de Guéramont, a Grail Knight, who is the protagonist of the Knights of Bretonian book, and he is an absolute... He goes from being like, Haha, I would be a knight, and just an absolute dumbass, to an absolute chad by the end of it, earning... Not the friendship, but the respect of Orion of the Wood Elves. So I think what would be a very interesting campaign for him is, um, first they need to, like, slap some more Wood Elf trees around the world. But you slap one of those Wood Elf trees, one of those, um, enchanted forests, either in Ind, Koresh, or Cathay. And the campaign revolves around, um, Cala de Guéramont trying to protect that tree. And so his faction would have access to certain Wood Elven units, like, um, Wildwood Rangers... Or just Eternal Guard or um, Glade Guard, uh, Eternal Guard, Glade Guard, Arch, just like some Wood Elven uh, units to supplement his force of peasants and knights. Uh, I would also like to see two legendary characters, one being his sister, whose name I'm currently forgetting, who is a decently powerful Demzel, and uh, his uh, his manservant, Chal Chalud, Chalud, uh, S-H-L-U-D if I remember correctly, Chalud. I'm gonna call him Chalud. Um, mostly because I think it would be really freaking funny to just have, like, this little hunchback dude with, like, a little rat in his hands, like, in a little kettle helm and a spear. But I think he'd be a really, really cool, um, buff unit. Because he is, like, the chosen companion of a Grail Knight who is stuck by him since he was a questing knight. So he would, like, give immense buffs to peasants and, uh... <laughs> Just, like, give these, like, really funny speeches about how, like, he has saved Kalard many, many times. And just, I think it, like, like a Gorga. A Gord, like a worse Gore does, basically. Gore does buffing up even worse units than Hobgoblins. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, that is, I really just rambly kind of just talk about a video to get something up on the channel, to get a little bit of activity going. Uh, if you like this idea, if you want to see more Shadow Talks about, um... DLC for Warhammer, let me know if you want uh, to say what I said was stupid and want to present your own ideas for Bretonia DLC, go ahead. If you want to insult me for my lighting being shit, please 
Don't. I know it's shit. I'm using a window and a lamp right now. I spent 20 minutes setting this up. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. If you stuck around, uh, please leave a comment down below expressing an opinion that you had so we can get a bit of a conversation going. Uh, leave a dislike if you hated the video. Thank you again for getting to this far. If you've gotten this far, have a good day. See you next time. Peace.